Welcome to this session on Redis. Today in this session we are going to learn how to use Redis Desktop Manager. So let's get started. What is Redis Desktop Manager? So Redis Desktop Manager is a GUI client for Redis. So instead of interacting with Redis with a command line, we can have a graphical user interface on your desktop using Redis Desktop Manager and you can interact with Redis and manage Redis using this desktop client. It is open source and is available for Windows, Mac and Linux operating systems. So let us see how to use Redis Desktop Manager. Let us go to our browser and I am here typing Redis Desktop Manager and here is the website for Redis Desktop Manager. Let us go here and this is the website for Redis Desktop Manager and there are some features given here. Here is the about section. You can read about it and then we have the download section. Also you will have this link for documentation on Redis Desktop Manager and if you go here you will get this documentation where you can get all the installation guide and features of of Redis Desktop Manager so we have for Windows, Mac and other Linux versions so this will be very useful so now let us head over to our Windows and let us see how to install and use Redis Desktop Manager I am going to my browser and here I am going to Redis Desktop Manager website and I will go to this download and here you can see we have Windows, Mac and other Linux so I am going for Windows and I will download it from here and here it is downloaded I will just go to the folder where it is downloaded and let me just wait for the download to complete and yes it is here so I can just start this installer and I will say run let me minimize other screens and next agree and you can select the location where you want to install it and then install it so it will take some time and it will install the Redis desktop manager on your windows So once this is done, you can launch Redis Desktop Manager. Also, you will see there is a icon present on your desktop now. So you can launch it from here as well. So let us start our Redis Desktop Manager. And here on the starting screen, uh, they have given some information and there is these links for wiki and other documentation. You can go there. As of now, I will just close this. And at the bottom, you can see there is this button to connect to Redis server you can click on it and here you can give any name so let us say this is my Redis uh, you can give the host so in my case it is on my local machine so I can say local host the port on which your Redis is running and then you can test the connection and say ok and ok so you can see now here you have your connection ready and you can see all the available values so name was a value uh, that we inserted in our earlier session on windows and you can see the name is john this is the value that we had set using our command line so also you can right click here and you will find the options for console reload disconnect edit and delete so let me go to console and you can see uh, we have this console here and here you can also interact using the command line so I can say set age 35 and you can say get age and also the same will be available here as well so if you say reload connection you can see now we have two values we have name as well as age so if you go to age it is 35 set and also you can change the values from here so for example I want to change the value for name and I am saying it should be Smith and I can save it and the value was updated and also if you go to the command line you can find the value will be updated so if I say get 
name now you can see the value is now updated so this is how we can interact also you can right click here and you can see add new keys so for example I will say add new key and I will say subject and I can select the type of this value let's say string and I will say subject is automation and I can save it I can say yes and you can see this key has come here also you can go to your normal command line so in our case we had our redis here and if I go to the redis cli and run it and here if I say get subject and you can see we are getting the value that we have set through redis desktop client so this is how you can use redis desktop client it is very interactive in the next session we will learn about some other redis gui clients